In this video, we're going to look at a Faraday's law problem uh, in which we're solving for mass. So our problem is what mass of copper will be plated from a copper 2 plus solution if 10 amps of current is applied for 2.5 hours. So our first step in solving this problem is to write down our half reaction. So copper 2 plus, that's our copper 2 ion, is going to gain two electrons to form solid copper. So that means that we have a two to one mole ratio between our electrons and our copper. Now we're gonna get started on the actual problem solving. So uh, our first step is to going to be to turn that current and the time into the charge. So I'm gonna do this in one line, but I'll break down what I'm doing in each step. So an amp is really a coulomb per, unit, per second. So 10 amps can be written as 10 coulombs per second. 2.5 hours uh, is really 9,000 seconds because there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. So at this point, our seconds will cancel and we are left with coulombs. So we've calculated the amount of charge that's been added to our system. Next up, we're gonna turn that into moles of electrons using Faraday's constant. So we know that one mole of electron carries a charge of 96,500 coulombs. This constant can be found on page three of your Chemistry 30 data booklet. So now we've turned that coulombs into moles of electrons. next step is going to be to convert that into moles of copper because we're interested in the mass of copper we need to get to moles of copper so we know that for every one mole of copper that we form two moles of electrons have been gained so that's from our half reaction at this stage we've now solved for the moles of copper and lastly when we're trying to solve for mass we're going to use our molar mass. So we know that there's 63.55 grams of copper in one mole. So at this stage, we've now solved for grams of copper and our units will cancel such that we're left with only grams. And our final answer, uh, we get three significant digits. So we're gonna have 29.6 grams of copper.